I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here with Wolves reporter Mr. Tim Spears. Tim, what a difference a week makes. A bit of sun and a bit of vitamin D O T. Are you reading the start like that? It's taken me a week. It's taken, it's taken me about a week to, to remember that. I thought, oh, come on, please use it. I also had vitamin D O go as well. I oh, know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, let's all let's all go let's all go for a week off. We? <laughs> yeah, let's all go to Barb's. <laughs> uh, but but you know, joking aside, it was so much better today. As, as Nuno said, yes. I, I do look a bit white, is what he said. said, is he? What, just said. what, after Marbella? Some, some good crack. Uh, yeah, I know, we were there as well, I did try and tell him. Yeah, absolutely. What a week. I mean, you look at you look at the Nottingham Forest game last mm -hmm. week, and you look at today. Yeah. What's happened in between? From Molyneux last week, they went straight to Marbella. Mm -hmm. Last night, came straight to Ipswich. Yes. So, there's a direct correlation there between last week's awful performance. Yes. And I thought today was one of their best away performances we've seen for some time. And there's there's no there's no coincidence. Mm -hmm. you know, this this is what's caused it. This uh, this week away, which was planned in advance, mm -hmm. but it's fallen perfectly because they had their worst slump of the season. Sure, by their high standards, but it was slumping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, now they, and now they've come here, and I thought they were fantastic today. Mm -hmm. And if they'd won three nil, nobody would have complained. No, because that, that it was. Um, it was a dominant performance, and the, uh, they should have won by more. I thought they were excellent today, really impressed. And those front side, the uh, groundsmen, and they went there. Are you okay? You okay, Chief? You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't, didn't like that. Um, <laughs> front three today was. You, you get that a lot. Front too. three, I do. Yeah, it went to knuckle me. Um, front three was superb today. No, no Bonatini in line, but three Portuguese lads, and they all interlinked pretty well. They were interchangeable. Uh, they looked, they looked sharp. They looked creative, and. They, yeah, they, they, they looked on it and Wolves kind of got their crisp uh, passing back I thought, mm. today. Um, the movement was great in the final third and they, they created a lot of chances. And like I said, they, they should have been out of sight, particularly early in the second half. Jota missed a couple of golden opportunities. Yeah. Uh, Costa missed one. Bonatini had a couple of good efforts when he came off the bench. But yeah, the, the whole the whole team was was kind of was transformed today. You had the full, you had the wing backs bombing on, yeah. uh, creating a constant outlet that combined for the goal for the winning goal. Scored by Ivan Cavallero. Ivan Cavallero, okay. According to uh, BBC Sky Sports and everybody else. Everybody else. The Express and Star and Wolves as well, too. Uh, so, yeah. Um, there were kind of eyebrows raised, I guess, when, when Bonatini's job mm. has been a rarity this season mm. and he's kind of so important to the way that they play, holding the ball up. But it, but it was a different style today. They were kind of playing from deep. Particularly in the second half, they sat really deep mm. and just looked to hit Ipswich on the break. And they're so good at that because they're so pacey. Yeah. And, and, it, and it worked a treat. And like I said, the, their dominance isn't reflected in the scoreline. Yeah, and look, they were wasteful because, they, I mean, Ipswich did give the, the ball away cheaply at times. But at the same time, their keeper, as Nuno said, was, was the best player on the pitch today. Bialkowski, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> he uh, produced a number of very fine saves, actually. Mm. Um, that, that kept the score down, and yeah, there was a couple of moments where Wolves' finishing was off or wrong options. I mean, mm. Joss is through on goal. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, it's, it's a one nil. It's through on goal. He, he can just just chip it past the do keeper. Do anything what he wants to do. But he decides unselfishly to pass it past the Costa. Elder for a little tap in, uh, but he plays it behind Costa. Yes, <laughs> and wrong stud and slip. It was it was calamity, James. Yeah, and. You've got, to be, you've got to say they nearly paid for it. I mm. mean, it, it, uh, you know, you were outside at this point, but injury time. Really? Uh, Ipswich, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know, this is new to me. We're breaking news. Yeah, yeah, hit me. Uh, uh, Grant Ward had a, a shanked uh, a volley from about six from about six yards, good position, completely missed it. And then Ruddy spills across <laughs> uh, in the last minute of injury time, and it's all a bit of bedlam in the box, and then, yeah. and then, he, uh, and then he makes a decent save, to be fair. But, you know, could have cost them, but... In general, mm. they, they controlled the game. Mm. They've, they've been lacking that control, which mm. Nuno loves mm. and, has, and has talked about all season long. They've been lacking that in recent weeks. And yes, it's just created a couple of decent opportunities. They've got the fifth best, fifth, fifth best home record in the league here. So, you know, no mugs. Yeah. And you know, we knew we knew Mick McCarthy would have them up for it. Mm -hmm. So on a horrendous to, pitch. On a yeah, which, which didn't help. And by the way, you know that's been a factor for me in Wolves' last two games. Swansea away, the mm -hmm. pitch was a real problem, and the weather. I thought Forest at home as well. The pitch didn't look great last week. Sure, but um, it was teaming it down for a couple of hours before kick off. Pitch wasn't great. You're thinking, hello, you know, we're going to get the same situation here. But no, they they, they dug in deep. They were organised, which gives them such a good foundation. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, the front three kind of took it on from there. After Njai got a start today as well, I thought did pretty well. No, no Roman Sace in the squad. Sace injured, uh, tight hamstring, don't think it's anything too serious. Lots lots of speculation about him going to Fiorentina. Right. Uh, but no, the, the 
100 percent the reason why he's not not in today was because of his hamstring. Mm-hmm. Uh, and took Neil, his chance though. And uh, and Jai came in and did, and did well. I thought his passing was far better than it's been uh, in, in most weeks. And he kind of adds that physical threat, but also he can pop. Uh, you know, say isn't the best going forward. No. You know, let, let's, let's, there's no, there's no, no, no shame in that. It's just not the type of player he is. But and Jai, he had that one burst in the box, mm. which led to the goal. Mm-hmm. Makes these makes these really good runs from deep, which gives Wolves another dynamic, I think, and that yeah, that helped create the goal. Um, could have gone down, by the way. Yes, he could have done. It's kind of blocked off in the box. You wanted him to go down. <laughs> go down, go down. <laughs> I did. I was I was like, like, Stay on your feet. Yeah, he did. He did. Anyway. Yeah. And then uh, it stays in his feet. Tees up Douglas. Lovely little cross. Yeah. And there's Doherty. Head, heads it down and into the corner, second goal of the season. Bish, bosh, bosh. And, 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 and also, you know, we're calling for this. We've called mm. this for weeks. Mm. Early goal. Mm. They've been lacking the early goal because mm. when they're in front, they very rarely don't win. Correct. So they got the early goal yeah. back to the Wolves that we know and, yeah, rarely looked in trouble thereafter. Costa Cav Jota up yeah. front, Bonatini yeah. bench. Does that mean, I mean, if Nuno is going to go, okay, those are his preferred front three now and everybody's saying, do we need a strike? Well, Bonatini's your fourth striker, the, the backup person to come in and, the, and then Murr is n- not in the squad today. Do Wolves really need one? Is that if that's the way forward? Or you do you at, think it's just horses for courses? You look at the table, right? They're 12 points clear now. Mm-hmm. And also that's why it was so important to win today because Derby and Villa don't play until Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Cardiff don't play until next week. So if, if they'd lost today, yeah. sit, you open up the door Absolutely. for Derby to potentially mm-hmm. open it up with a win on Tuesday, which could have put them six points behind. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden Wolves are catchable, aren't they? within a couple of games sure. but the opposite has happened and they've gone 12 points clear yes. and now Derby we're thinking right they've gone um, so it's so important to win today and what was the original question the f- so the front option so yeah so um, yeah t- they're 12 points clear mm-hmm. they've got a fantastic front three as we saw today you've got Bonatini who almost got a world cup. oh you again you I tell you what you were animated today twice in 90 minutes you are you say oh oh Pretty good for me. It's pretty good for you, it's, yeah. Uh, so, really nice move. And J- and J- you were? And Jai plays it, and Jai plays it. A really nice pass to Douglas. Yeah. He picks out Bonatini with a, with a deep, with a cross to the edge of the penalty. Bonatini thwacked it. Spanks it, by the way. Echoing Sh- L. Spank. Yeah. And it looks top corner to me, but it's, but it's blocked. <laughs> <laughs> top corner, but it's blocked. So, anyway, you've got, yeah. you've got Rafa here. Mm-hmm. You've got Inibakari. Mm-hmm. Jordan Graham. Yeah. Uh, you've still got Ben Marshall in the squad as well. Well, not in the squad, but you know, he's around. Uh, could recall well. Dominic Arofa? They could recall Dominic, I don't think they will, but they could recall Dominic. So, so, they're, they're t- so they're 12 points clean, they've got really good options up front. Yes, they've only scored 2 in 5, or 12 in 12, mm-hmm. but like I said, they could have, should have had many more today, and that's been the problem in recent weeks, not creating the options. Mm-hmm. They're creating them today, mm-hmm. you back them to, to score more over the, over the coming weeks. So I'm. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not. It's, it's could, could go either way. I, I think. I think they're keeping their options open. Yes. And if the right player comes up, that could go to the Premier League with them. Mm-hmm. I think they, they, they would make that move. Mm-hmm. But there's nothing in the cards. And they're not going to overpay either at the same time. They're not going to overpay because the top must be. Mm-hmm. Don't need to. And they've got the five loans already. We'll see what happens. They, they could bring Jota in on permanent. That, sure. That would free up a loan. But there's nothing immediately on the cards. We'll see what happens in the next few days. Look, Nuno, Nuno was asked the question about the transfer window, and he said they're happy with what they've got. But like you say, if something does come up, then he's not going to—he's not going to rule it out completely. Yeah, and for me, you don't think they need anyone? You think you're happy with the squad? Uh, there's no right wing back option. Mm. No, Fosse is still nowhere near returning. Graham's not a, not a wing back, is he? Um, so they ha- so uh, fascinating to know what happens. If, touch wood, it never happens. But mm. if Doherty gets injured, who, yes. play, who plays there? Not obvious to me. Ben Marshall. Ryan Bennett's played there more often than most, uh, more often than anyone else. It seems mm. sort of Man City in a defensive formation away from home. I think he, could, I think he could do it. He's no, again, he's no natural. Yeah. And neither is Jordan Graham. So. But if you're going to buy someone, like you say, you want to buy for the Premier League. So yeah. you're going to buy a right back for the Premier League. Then he's going to be back up That's to Doherty. I mean. it's, it's all, weird. It's all a bit fluid and, and a bit complicated at the same time because ideally you'd loan a right wing back mm. for the rest of the season as cover. But they've got their five loanees. Yeah. So and then they'd have to buy one of them to bring one in. Maybe they'll buy Jota. It's all it's all a bit up in the air. These are all first world problems, aren't they? All the twelve points clear. Uh, but I'm sure I'm sure they know. Well, of course, it's a great position to be in. Though. They know exactly what they're doing. And yeah, a, a right wing back is cool. Would would be ideal. But yeah. Nuno seems understandably very happy with what he's got. And like you say, with the rivals playing midweek, Wolves can put the feet up now and, and wait till Saturday for Sheffield United. Put the feet up. They're off to Bognor Regis for the week. <laughs> Uh, another getaway. Uh, no, in all Team seriousness, um, you know, it seems like they had great facilities out there, which mm-hmm. they're all very happy with. It seems oh, like they were fantastic, Tim. <laughs> they were brilliant. And it seems like they've been working hard as well, by the way. Mm. It's not. It's not been. A, it's not. It's not been a jolly. Mm. Um, they've had. You're right. 
Oh, oh Chief. So, so you're, like, you're not one nil. Beal. Some, some, some of the locals. They're not happy. Some of the locals are a bit. Uh, mm. Anyway. You're not play, pay. So they've had, they've had. It's not really, t it's not necessarily a massively tough, demanding week because mm -hmm. they've been out in Marbella and they've got up. They've been meeting Tyson Fury and playing golf and whatever. Yeah, Nuno Lais. It's just a big boy, big yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, but um, but it's been very beneficial. Mm -hmm. I, th I think they've kind of hit the reset button and yes, got back will. to what they know. It's worth street. Happy days. Uh, Ipswich nil. Wolves one for all the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.